Hello, my name's Phil and welcome to All Monsters Go to Space. So in this episode we're going to be talking about the history of the fictional paranormal entity Slenderman. So in description, Slenderman is commonly described as a very tall and thin humanoid creature with unusually long arms. He also has tentacles that extend from his back, used to capture prey, most commonly children. Slenderman's most notable features are his white, featureless face and his dark suit. The Slenderman is often located in forests and has the ability to teleport. It is said that being in proximity to Slenderman triggers what's called Slender Sickness, which causes nightmares, hallucinations and nausea. His proximity to technology is also said to cause interference. So with the viral nature of Slenderman, you might be surprised to find out that Slenderman can actually be traced back to his first appearance. Slenderman was created on the 10th of June 2009 on a thread on the Something Awful forum. The thread was a Photoshop contest in which users were asked to edit everyday photos to make them appear paranormal. A user under the name Victor Surge contributed two black and white images of groups of children, to which he added a tall, thin, blurry-faced man wearing a black suit. Serge named this creature the Slenderman. The Slenderman soon went viral through online fictional scary stories known as creepypastas and fan art. Slenderman's popularity grew in 2012 when he was adapted into a video game entitled Slender the Eight Pages. Today, Slenderman Easter eggs can be found in the most unusual places. For example, there is a Slenderman Easter egg in the animated TV show, Gravity Falls, as well as Slenderman appearing in many games, like Bitrunner 2, GTA San Andreas and Watch Dogs, just to name a few. Due to the popularity of Slenderman, over time, a whole fictional history was created with people photoshopping historical images of supernatural creatures to make them look more like Slenderman. Most famously, these two wood carvings, which if you look at the unphotoshopped originals, bear no resemblance to Slenderman at all. As well as photoshopped images, early European stories of child-stealing fairies were also incorporated, as well as tales of faceless humanoid monsters from Japanese mythology, like the no Pebo. Tragically, however, there is a real-life crime connected to the Slenderman mythos. On the 31st of May 2014, two 12-year-old girls from Wisconsin stabbed a fellow classmate 19 times. By some miracle, the classmate survived. When questioned later, the two girls claimed they wished to commit murder to become proxies for Slenderman. Due to the severity of the crimes, both girls have been charged as adults and can face up to 65 years imprisonment. In a statement to the media, Eric Knudsen, the real name of its third, said, I am deeply saddened by this tragedy in Wisconsin, and my heart goes out to the families of those affected by this terrible act. So that was a brief history of the fictional paranormal entity known as Slenderman. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.